Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Normally when I shoot a video from the kitchen, it's because I'm doing a cooking demonstration. I'm not doing that today. I did that yesterday, but uh, the microphone didn't work. So instead of demonstrating the magical butter machine, I'm just going to tell you about it. This is everything I got with my magical butter machine. They also include this probe and thermometer. I think the sole purpose of these items is to make sure your oven is calibrated correctly. The purpose of this is to handle hot items such as when you pull the Dakar box out of the oven. You could use whatever you have on hand if you have something you prefer. According to the box, the Magic Butter Machine makes butter, oil, tincture, and lotion. I didn't know what a tincture was. Turns out what it means is botanicals plus grain alcohol. And I guess it's got some medicinal properties. If you look in the owner's manual, it will give you base recipes for magical butter, magical oil, magical tincture, but says nothing about lotion. Maybe there's some information online. I don't know. The cookbook had some interesting recipes, things that use the base recipes in uh, creative ways. So that, that all sounds great. They had one recipe for lemon cello that I thought was intriguing, but it calls for two cups of lemon zest. I have no idea how many lemons it would take to create two cups of zest, but I'm sure it's delicious. For my first experience with the Magical Butter Machine, I wanted to keep it simple. So I just made Magical Butter. They say that you can use softened butter, but they recommend clarified butter. I don't have clarified butter on hand. I've never, I've never used it before, but I know how to make it. So that's what I did. While I was making my clarified butter, I was also heating my botanicals. They give you guidelines on how much to use, but I totally ignored that and just put some fresh rosemary and green onions in the Dakar box. Um, my advice to you is to either follow the, the directions or pack this thing full of botanicals because when you heat it, it the, everything shrivels up. And so even if this looks full, it will not be by the time you pull it out of the oven. Once you have your clarified butter and your botanicals, you just throw everything in this pitcher. And I, th I think this is what heats up. The top here will blend everything together. I mean, this might do the heating too. I don't know. But this, it does have the, the blade on it. So I know at the very least it does the blending and stirring. But when everything is in there, all you do is you set the temperature and the time and well, away you go. And in my case, two hours later, I had magical butter. It's pretty obvious when it's done because it makes this horrendous racket. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's an alarm. There is a certain amount of noise that comes off of this machine because it's, it, it is heating your magical butter the whole time. And periodically, it sounds like a blender kicks in. And I'm assuming that that's exactly what's happening. That blade starts spinning around. It's not constantly which I guess is good, but a constant noise is easier to ignore than a periodic noise. After this is done, the light goes out, the alarm sounds, you're ready to go. You pull this off. In my case, stuff was hanging from the blade. It was kind of gross, but you set it aside. And then you have to pour the concoction into this thing. So what I did is I stuck it in this four cup container and that seemed to fit really well. You just pour the contents into the strainer. It removed all the botanicals and then I just put this back into here. So <laughs> what else am I going to do with it? And uh, so all the all the flavored magical butter is now in here and then I could transfer it to whatever container I wanted. This has a self-cleaning option, which I think is really cool. Put water in here, and I think uh, I'll have to read the book again. I think you put a little bit of dish soap in some water, and you stick this back in here, and it, there's a clean cycle, and it, it cleans itself. I, 
That's wonderful. Also, this thing, you cannot put in a dishwasher. You cannot put this in the washing machine. It is reusable. And what I did is hold it upside down, spray it with hot water, get all the, the big chunks out of the bag. And then you just wash it with hot soapy water and rinse it really well because you don't want soap in your, in your strainer and let it air dry. One of the things that I make manually today is chili oil. I put chili oil on everything. Chili oil makes everything better. I thought, well, it would be very interesting if I could make chili oil with this. Now, I don't think it would be the same because my current method, I deep fry some things and uh, it's a, it's a multi-step process, but it's very messy. And if I can simplify the process and get something almost as good, I might be willing to sacrifice a little bit on the flavor, at least some of the time. So I am excited to try that. Something that's different with the chili oil is I like the chunks in it. So I think what I would do is just chop things up to the size that I want them to be and put everything in here and let it go and not even use this because I don't want to strain out the, the chunks. I like the chunks. I guess I'm willing to, <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to consider making the tinctures, but I would need some compelling recipe that would, um, it sounds like snake oil to me, but maybe as far as giving the magic butter machine a rating, well, it is definitely a quality item. It's mostly made of metal. There are some plastic pieces and that's fine. It's, it, it's heavy. It feels like something that's going to last for a lifetime. Uh, it's super easy to use. This can run unattended. Once you get all your botanicals and your oils or your butter or whatever you're making, your, your grain alcohol in here, then you just set the temperature and the time. And then you can, you can go, you go to bed, go to work, whatever. If you're using clarified butter, you don't need to worry about refrigeration. Even if you weren't using clarified butter, um, I, well, it, it could make, uh, you would want to use clarified butter if, if you're planning to leave the house because you don't want it solidifying and you'd have to melt it again before you've strained it is, is my point. I'm disappointed that they don't have any instructions about lotions because <laughs> I thought that was so interesting. Uh, I'll have to do some research into that. It seems like an esoteric device. It seems like somewhat of a novelty, but in my case, like if, if I'm making chili oil once a month or whatever, then this, this might, it's up to you if, if you think this is a, a value proposition, but I think it's a very handy machine. And if you want to make butters, if you want to make oils, if you want to make tinctures or maybe lotions, then I don't, I don't think they could make this any easier. It's, it's a five out of five if you think it's going to be useful. I think it's going to be useful. I like it. And it's, yeah, it's an easy five out of five. Thanks for stopping by.